are you serious are you serious what asteroid asteroid and i'm not talking about the one that everybody's talking about supposedly that somebody thinks is coming in february i'm talking about the one that just just missed you doc it gone and no we didn't we we got no nobody gave us any warning i guess nasa didn't see it but at the last second they saw it and there it was it was eight meters so it wasn't very big only eight meters small rock but this thing come within point one LD lunar distance, not 1.0, which is close enough. That's the distance from here to the moon, but 0.1. That means it came within 25,000 miles of the surface of the earth. This thing, and we, we got no warning. The name of it, NASA gave it a name in the, in the, within the first, within the two hours before it got here. And it was called 2017 BH30. Gone. We didn't know it. And today we got one going by pretty close. One LD, which means about 250,000 miles from the earth. Or in other words, it's the distance from the moon to the earth. It's going to go by today. Uh, it's called 2017 BJ30. But the one that went by yesterday, we had no heads up. Just barely. I mean, barely. Dan this is dangerously close when you get down to 0.1. Okay. Okay. You're within 25,000 miles of, um, of the surface of the earth. This would have been a very powerful explosion had it hit the earth. While that's going on, guys, we got solar winds right now at 736,000 kilometers per second. Outrageous speeds of solar winds with gaping uh, hole in the sun atmosphere gaping hole with outrageously fast solar winds at 736,000 kilometers per second. More than twice the, the normal speed. It means it's releasing unbelievable uh, solar, uh, solar flare activity, a uh, solar stream, I should say. Uh, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. And of course, the hole in the atmosphere. And of course, we just barely got we just barely escaped this meteor okay or this asteroid near earth object near earth object asteroid just barely got by us so we gotta keep our eyes open here guys uh, and oh there's incredible auroras out there too you better keep your head up okay keep looking around because uh it's insane there was 29 fireballs also that penetrated the Earth's atmosphere last night. And there was one that was seen over, I believe, uh, Kansas City or somewhere over there in uh, Missouri um, that was a real, really lit up the sky. But good news is the asteroid didn't hit us. Bad news is we got solar stream coming at us right now. A ton of pressure, a ton of pressure coming at us right now with solar winds at 736,000 kilometers per second. If there's any fault lines, if there's any tectonic plates about ready to go, they will go. The pressure from this will trigger them. So we better hope and pray there's none ready. I'm telling you, you better hope and pray there's none ready. I'll be back with more current world events. Matter of fact, I'm just going to look right now at the earthquake chart just because something could have happened since the last time I looked at it. And I'm going to do that right now if it's okay with you guys, just to be sure we're all right. Just to be sure, nothing mega has broke. Uh, I, I, I just anticipate it. Uh, we've had 33 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Here's what's happened in just the last few, not long. 4.8 Southwest Indian Ridge. 4.6 Japan, very shallow. 4.5 um, Argentina. 5.0 Ecuador. 5.3 East Timor. Now, these, these five earthquakes have all happened uh, within the last two hours. There's a more that's happened, 33 total, but uh, you can see some pressure. We did have a 5.9 uh, early this morning in Vanuatu, okay? But uh, in the last couple hours, we've had um, five quakes in five different locations, all hovering around 5.0, a little less, a little more, okay? So 
keep, keep, you know, keep your eyes open and keep looking up. Your redemption's drawing nigh. Jesus is coming soon. Are you saved? Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. It's going to be a good one. Wow. We've got a ton of stuff to cover. And our guest, Pastor Casper McLeod, the guy that played John Lennon in the Broadway musical Beatlemania. He was John Lennon. Okay. Wow. Are you serious?